Tonight, for the first time, Target 8 is taking you inside a bank robbery that turned deadly, leaving a Walker officer dead, and these two suspects as well. It's video you'll only see here. We obtained the bank surveillance video through the Freedom of Information Act. Target 8 investigator Ken Colker has been on this story since the moment it hit police scanners. He's live now in studio with what he's uncovered. Ken? Rick, the robbery lasts all of five minutes, a terrifying five minutes at a bank that is surrounded by cornfields. The robbers called each other Frank and Jesse, apparent references to the Wild West bank robbers and brothers Frank and Jesse James. But they were really Christopher Shane and Daryl Lefave, already suspected of bank robberies in Moline. They were dressed in black from head to toe and waved big guns as they pushed through the front doors of Choice One Bank. Their surveillance video shows a timestamp. 10:36 in the morning on October the 13th. It was obvious the tellers knew almost immediately what was happening. Tellers later described the shorter one, apparently Lefave, as the aggressive robber. They described the other as polite. Target 8 also has learned that the Chevy Blazer they used as a getaway car had been stolen the day before in the city of Walker. The owner had left the keys in the console. The robbers forced bank tellers into a vault, went through the cash room, and through the teller cash drawers. They repeatedly asked about die packs and threatened to return. The video also shows two customers who walked in on the robbery and a third customer who pulled up to the drive through window and later reported it to police. Within five and a half minutes of walking in, the robbers were gone, escaping in that blazer north on Slocum. They dumped the getaway car behind a foundry just north, then took off in a blue bravada. What they didn't know was that the FBI agents had somehow gotten in front of them. Less than a half hour later, the robbers struck and killed Officer Trevor Slott, then were shot and killed by police. Tonight at 6, we'll hear from one of the last people to talk to the robbers at the bank. And she thought it was a joke. 